Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Scotland versus the Republic of Ireland. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Jason Knight. A look then at the starting 11. Well, this looks to be a really defensive lineup. They've certainly not come here to dominate possession. But if they defend with urgency, they're going to be difficult to break down, that's for sure. So, Scotland involved in the opening match of the tournament. And that was the case back at the World Cup in 1998 when they faced Brazil. Germany this time for them. And the atmosphere is going to be wonderful if you attend Scotland games. They reckon that around 100,000 Scots will be here in Germany throughout. Oh, genuine chance. Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. A wonderful piece of skill. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Porteous. It's with McTominay. Christie. McGinn. Chance to finish. And the ball is loose. And the move breaks down. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Could still be dangerous. again he's got to score oh dealt with by the goalkeeper and an effective clearance McGregor can he do it and the keeper there to deal with it and over comes the corner not really the ideal clearance and still pressing and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Callum McGregor. And now with McGinn. And teammates to play it to. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Good example of pressing without the ball. Christie. Dangerous ball. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, he had the scent of a hat-trick in his nostrils, but not this time. Well, he keeps getting into good positions. He'll surely get another chance before the end of the game.
And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Showing a real will to win the ball. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Oh, tremendous save! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. And there's the delivery. Appear to be in two minds. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Johnston. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Well timed tackle. Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Well, they've decided to make a change. Tierney. McGinn. And the ball brought down under no real pressure. And a tidy challenge. McGregor, oh he's through here, and a goal to delight the fans, just what they were hoping for. Well as you can see, the skill to set up this chance is absolutely brilliant, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish, he really hits it with power and accuracy, nothing the keeper can do about that. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Christie. Very quick thinking there. And a chance for him on the flank. Fine cross into the middle. And they go. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And he's in. And it's there for him. Adams. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Can he do it? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And there it is, the final whistle, a victory for Scotland. That's the big headline here. Stuart, your thoughts?